This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. Hello everyone, uh, it's Nick Budichin from Complete Sports Management here as per usual at Victoria Park uh, where Q have just defeated uh, Scobbs by 39 points. I'm here with 50th gamer Jess Berger. Jess, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. No worries and as per usual every week, uh, Coach Theo Vajos, thanks again for joining me Theo. Pleasure Nick, nice to see you again. Always great to see you. Um, I'll start with you Jess, yep. 50th game, how did it feel out there? Yeah, it was good to run out there with the girls again. Um, I thought they had a a really good match. Obviously, Scobbs coming up against them. We knew we were going to have a tight battle on our hands, but um, no, really good to get away with the win. Absolutely, and you did kick a goal, had 13 touches. Uh, do you feel like that was one of, your, one of your better games for the club this season? Uh, just to get out and play a game was good. I've missed a few, but um, no, it's just yeah, good to run out with the girls and um, get, a, get a touch here and there. So yeah, not, always nice to get a snag. Absolutely, and it was an important win uh, in terms of making the finals. Yep. Um, I, I think you guys have secured a place now. Um, how does that feel to, to know you'll be running out and, and playing finals this year? Yeah, really good. I mean, we put high expectations on ourselves and Theo definitely drives the <laughs> high standards, so we're always trying to go after a, another final series um, and it's good to feel secure, but at the same time, we've got two more games to go and we really want to um, run into finals with some really good form. Absolutely. I, I, so far, you've so far this season, you've definitely had good form, so I expect you guys to as well. Um, Theo, how do you see the game? Yeah, sometimes the score doesn't always reflect how close the game were. I thought um, the first half of the first quarter and for long periods of the third quarter, I thought St Kevin's were, well, the equal of us, if not better. Um, but credit to our, especially our back line, held up really well. But when we were able to get the ball out... Um, and get our free flowing game going. You know, we certainly look better and capitalised. You know, and Berg's. You know, she might only have 13 touches, but her 13 touches are like 27, 28 for some others. So, um, yeah, look, it was good to beat a, a finals contender convincingly. But there's still areas of the game we certainly can work on. We were just talking about that. Yeah. So, yeah, good to have a win, especially at our home ground too. Yep. Always, always good to have a win. Yep. Um, I will ask you about Danielle Cludy's game. Yep. She had 38 touches. That's equaled the record uh, for, for a, a player this season. Uh, how have you seen her sort of progression this season? Oh, well, she's pretty bloody good, Nick. Yeah. Look, she, I thought today was maybe her best game of the year. She really played well for four quarters. As you guys probably realise, she gets pretty heavily tagged. Um, but she was able to break that tag and... I, I thought she, you know, set the standard for us to follow today. I, I not we, but I mark her pretty hard, 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 because I want her to, you know, have a real influence on the game every week. But I, today she was easily the best player on the ground. She was immense. Um, I will say thank you again, Theo. Thank you just for joining me today. Uh, that's all for me for now. Um, next up is Josh with Scobbs. Thanks for that, Nick. I'm Josh Bianco here for Complete Sports Management, here with Tommy Purcell, coach of SCOB as always, also joined today by Elizabeth Hodgetts. Um, Tommy, disappointing today. Um, what are your thoughts straight after the game? Yeah, I thought uh, Q played a really aggressive brand of footy. Their on-ball were really strong. I mean, Daniel Kaludi and Harding, they're just gun players, and they, they got first use of the footy. And their back line, their back six were just so strong we just couldn't penetrate it we had a lot of forward entry still i think the scores were three scoring shots to to 15 but we had a lot of the footy but their their back six were too strong and and couldn't put enough pressure on them they cleared it out fairly easily and went on with the game yeah they were very strong today q um Kaludi in particular you you mentioned had um 38 touches was she being tagged uh, yeah, we tried our best to hold her, but uh, she's a very dynamic player, she's elusive, she's got an enormous tank and she attacks the ball aggressively, so 
I guess today we we uh, we try to match it, but I, I guess in the end it, it probably hurt us because we we weren't that effective in in holding her, and she was still attacking anyway. So um, yeah, c congratulations to to her footy, and she's had a great year. I mean, you know, she she's definitely um, got higher football in her, the games I've watched her play, and the game for Victoria, and the way she's played against us both games. But uh, yeah, she's she's very strong. So yeah, we'll 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 go home and we'll we'll work it on the track and. Uh, try and work out ways in which we probably get a bit more effective around those stoppages. Yeah, and we'll talk about some Kevins for a bit. A couple of um, players playing their first game for the year, Gasparini and Don't. How do you, yeah. how do you think they went? Yeah, Faith, Faith um, come down from the, come up from the blue. So, yeah, she's working hard um, for her first game. So it's a, it's a big jump up. So I'm really proud that their work ethics have been great. We've had uh, um, Don'ty uh, in her first game and she's worked hard all year as well. So, yeah, a good effort. All right, and um, Elizabeth, I'll ask you a couple of questions. Thought you were pretty good today in a pretty disappointing loss. There was one passage of play I wanted to ask you about in particular. There was a really good chase down tackle you did on this left wing just here. Can you talk us through that? Um, I guess in the last in the last few weeks we've sort of paid particular attention to tackling. Like we had a tackling coach a couple of weeks ago, so and tackling has always been a weakness in my game. So I thought let's give it a go and sort of I did my best to pin her down and just stop her from charging forward into the forward 50. Which is great to watch, a very exciting piece of play. Um, yeah, Tommy just, that, that was an important game today, third versus fourth, still still a pretty good chance to make finals. Um, how, how are you feeling for the rest of the home away season? Well, I guess the last few weeks we uh, haven't been able to play the, the brand of footy we want for the four quarters. So uh, finals a long way for us. We just got to make sure that we can try and get up for next week. Um, we'll work hard on the track, and uh, yeah, we've got a lot of work on. But looking forward to the challenge and uh, loving our Vafa footy, and uh, looking forward to two o'clock afternoon games. I think our mojo is better in the afternoon. Me too. All right, thanks for that, Tommy and Elizabeth. I'll wrap it up there. I'm Josh for Complete Sports Management. Till next time. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.